Hey friends, welcome back. I'm Llama Mama Kayla, and I want to thank you for joining me for a video today. So, I forgot to turn on my lights. <laughs> I'll turn on this one. I'm going to get up and turn on the other one. Oh, there we go. Hey, does that help? <laughs> so, anyway, um, like I said, thank you for clicking on my video today, and... I want to uh, tell you about my square blanket that I was making. Um, back in October, I had made some squares with some little, um, little bitty tiny balls of yarn that someone had sent me. I don't know who sent those. It was just it just said someone who loves you. So thank you very much. I enjoyed making those squares, <coughs> and I had made up 24. And then I went ahead and made one extra, so I'd have 25. So I was doing this blanket um, five squares across. And each of my squares are six rounds. I went around six times. And um, so I made the blanket five squares across, and I had it five down because I had 25 squares. Well, since my last video with you guys, when I put all that together, I added 10 more squares. So now my blanket is 35 squares. So over the weekend, I added um, this row here, this last two rows here. A white, a black, purple, a yellow, a blue, a tan, a periwinkle, brown, yellow, and a navy. So now it is five squares by seven squares. So the reason why I did that is because I have this blanket here that is kind of my comfort blanket. And um, when I don't feel good, I just like to have this blanket on me. And this blanket's old <laughs> and kind of ugly. <laughs> but anyway, I take this blanket to the hospital with me all the time. And um, I just like to have this blanket next to my body. So, um, anyway, so then I thought, well, I could make this in comparable size to this. This isn't a huge blanket. It's only, um, it's only this wide. So, by the time I put a border on this, and I could go around as many times as I want to increase the width and length. So by the time I put a border on that, it will be about that size probably. Um, so I went ahead and made it longer so it would be closer to the size of that blanket. And so I have videos showing where I put a border around the squares and then how I joined all these squares together. So today's video is going to be going around the whole blanket and eventually putting a border on it. So. Let's get started. Okay, friends, I am still using my six millimeter hook for this project, and I'm going to start down along the side of the blanket close to the end down here. I'm just going to start right here. I mean, you can start anywhere on the blanket you want to. So I'm just going to hook in in one of these chain three spaces. So I'm just putting my hook through there and I'm going to attach my yarn. I'm going to chain one and then single crochet back into that same space. All right, and then I'm going to chain three, three, and I'm gonna come to this next space and single crochet. So we're doing the same thing that we've been doing. That's how we put the, put the border on the squares and that's how we put the squares together. But let's see what we're going to do on this edge when we joined this little area where we joined. Um, I'm going to chain three in my and I'm going to um, single crochet into the corner and then I'm going to chain three and I'm going to single crochet into this corner and just continue to chain three 
and keep single crocheting in the chain spaces. Chain three and single crochet again. Uh oh. Now single crochet in my chain space and so you know that's just what we've been doing and we'll do this all the way around the blanket and we're getting to the corner here so we'll do that together and then I'm going to go off camera and finish doing this same exact thing all the way around the blanket and then I'll come back and start the next part of the border. So for this I'm going to go in this the corner of a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. I'm going to go in that chain two space and single crochet and then I'm going to chain two and go in that sing that same chain two space to make that corner and then just chain three and go in the next chain three space going along the bottom side of my blanket so here I have I have all my um, chain my single crochets and my chain threes and I got to the corner and I put a single crochet chain two single crochet all into this one corner here and then I come across the bottom and I'm going to turn my blanket now so I can work across the bottom I don't want this ball to roll off so I'm just going to lay it over here to the side on the blanket <laughs> okay so I chained it from the corner I chained three and single crocheted into a chain three space so I need to chain three and single crochet so this is so simple if you can single crochet and chain you're good on this now the border is going to be a little bit different but if you made a granny square you can do the border it's really easy to this is just setting us up for the border because where the um, squares join we needed something there to be able to attach a border so I'm just going to go back over one of those areas okay so I'm going to I change three I'm going to single crochet into the corner here and then chain three and I'm going to single crochet into this next corner that might look a little bulky there but it'll be fine once we um, put on the next step so back to chain and three and single crochet So I have another square blanket coming up for March. It's going to be done all in green. It's a blanket I had started and um, put down. And I'm picking it back up to do that blanket for March. And it's going to be done just like this. It's crocheted squares. And I'm going to be using uh, black to join those squares together. So I think you probably got the hang of this. Um, you know, it's real simple. Just single crochet and chaining. So I'm going to pause my video. And I'm going to come back and meet you up when I get to the, uh, or back to where I started. And then we will start the next part, <clears throat> excuse me, of the border.
Okay, I'm coming back to where I started, and um, I gotta go over one more corner join. And the main reason for doing this border is that it puts a border around the whole thing, and each of these spaces, this areas where we joined squares, it sets that up to be able to do a border. So let's see. Just have a, a couple more chain three spaces to cro single crochet into. Okay, so I, I single crocheted into this last one, chain three, and the next one I have a single crochet into it already, so I'm going to slip stitch into that single crochet. I have a chain one and then a single crochet. And I'm just slip stitching into that. And that's what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm not going to cut my yarn or anything because I'm going to keep my border the same color as this. So this is what I'm doing. Let's see if I can bring this down a little bit. Okay, so now I. I'm going to pull out a little bit of yarn here. <laughs> okay, so I slip stitch into that chain, I mean that um, single crochet. So I want to slip stitch over here to the next chain three space. And I'm going to chain three and double crochet once and twice and counting the chain three that gives us three double crochets there and then I'm just going to chain one and double crochet into the next chain three space so that's all I'm doing I mean this is so simple one two and three double crochets chain one And three double crochets again. Oops. Okay, and because of the um, prep that we just did, we're able to just crochet right over our join space here. So we're just going to put the three double crochets into each of the chain three spaces. Now I do want to point this out real quick. Let me um, finish this. Chain one. Okay. I do want to point this out. So on your blanket here we have the border that's around each square. And then we have the new border that we put on. So we're chaining into just one of the single, I mean the chain three the chain three spaces we're not because these don't match up like this one doesn't really match up to this this one so you're not going into both of them you're just going into the last one that we did around the whole blanket okay and um, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna go down to the corner Chain one, yes. Uh. <laughs> okay, I think I can bring this down a little bit now. Sorry about that. 
I didn't realize it was that high up. Okay. And after we turn the corner, we'll look at this and see how it looks. So it's just like making a greeny square, except it's just a greeny square border. And we're just greeny square stitching and then um, chain one in between. And if you wanted to make it without chaining one, you could. Um, I'm just, it's a habit for me to chain one in between, so I did. But you could probably get away without chaining one. Okay, so now we're at the corner where we have a single crochet, chain two, and a single crochet. So we're just going to do our three double crochets right into that chain two space. So right into the chain two space of my between my single crochet and single crochet, I put three double crochets and then I'm going to chain two, kind of turn the corner, and I'm going to go right back into that chain two space and put three double crochets. and then chain one and now we're working along the bottom side of the blanket and you're just going to do the same thing put three double crochets in every chain three space and you can chain one if you want to or you don't have to whatever suits you but definitely chain two when you're on the corner in each corner, put three double crochets, chain two, and three more double crochets. Alright, we're going to stop and just look at what we have. So, you can see this border's like looking pretty nice there. And it just adds a border to your blanket. And then you can go around this as many times as you want. You know, you can go around two or three times, or four or five times whatever size border you want. You could even change colors and make your border different colors if you wanted to. Each round a different color. I am going to stick with gray on this until my gray runs out. And if I don't feel like my border is thick enough, then I will use um, probably a darker shade of gray to make a final round. We'll just have to see when I get there. <laughs> but anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to um, chain one between each one and three double crochets into each of the chain three spaces. So this is going to be an easy project to just work on while I am watching a, something streaming or either some YouTube or something like that. And I will meet you back up when I finish this round.
So I'm getting close to where I started this section of the border. So I hope whenever I started the borders uh, that I made it clear enough to say that the first round all the way around the blanket where we did just like we did the joinings that that was part one of the border that was kind of like preparing the blanket for the border because we had to prepare these edges because of the way they were I mean not the edges the corners where the corners come together the way it was we couldn't put a border on there so we had to prepare the whole blanket for the border so that's why we went around as um, just as we did when we were joining them together and so now I'm putting this granny stitch border around this and I did think about different borders but I decided since this is a granny square blanket that I would just stick with the granny stitch border I think it makes a nice border for this and I'm on my last set of three double crochets for this granny stitch here and so I'm going to join it to this one and I'm just going to go up this right here and join no I'm not I'm going to join right here in that first double crochet and not in my chain three you can do yours ever how you want to but I'm going to kind of bring it in a little bit closer there it won't it won't make a, that much of a difference but it'll help a little bit and the stitch counts not you know it's not like we're having to count stitches there it's still a space okay and so my little gray ball that I've been using is not going to make it around another time so I'm going to have to um, cut my yarn tie off and weave that in so that's what I'm going to do for there and that's fine with me anyway because I like to start my granny rows in the corner anyway but I just wanted to show you that um, you know it is a nice border you have the border that was around each square and then we went around the whole blanket with another border <clears throat> and that's the chain three spaces that we did this border into and you can see how the square the corners are looking very nice and square so for me I want to do several rounds for a border I don't know exactly how many like I'll know I'm done when I'm done right so I used this and it's not enough so I'm having to change well, Connie sent me this big twist in this color gray and she sent me big twist in this darker gray and so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this lighter gray and go around this a couple of times maybe two rows I don't know and then I'm gonna then I'm gonna add the darker gray and do a row or two of it as a border so Let's see if I can find my tail here. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to pull out some yarn for the working yarn. Okay, so what, what I'm going to do is just come back over to this corner and poke my um, hook through my chain two space. <laughs> I couldn't think of what to call it. And then I'm just going to pull through and I'm going to chain up three. And that counts as my first double crochet. So then, um, <coughs> excuse me. That's my three double crochets. Chain two and then back in that same hole. I do three more double crochets. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me, I'm so sorry. Okay, 
So that's my corner. I'm going to look at that just a second and see if I like those colors. I think I'm going to skip this color and just go straight to the darker gray. Um, I think that gray has a more um, tan tone to it. And it kind of looks like it went from gray to a light tan and then to a darker gray. So I'm going to just skip that and go straight to this darker gray. I think that will look better. So I'll just do some rounds with the darker gray. Let me see. <laughs> Sorry, getting my yarn situated the way I like it. <laughs> Let's see how I like this color better. All right, chain two. And then I'm going to do three more crochet, three more double crochets in that same chain two space. Whoops. Let me see. I don't know if I like that either. I think I'm going to go look and see if I can find some more gray <laughs> in my cabinet. Let me go look. Okay, I found this gray here. I think this is a um, like a pound of Karen cake. I think that's going to match pretty good. Um, so I'm just going to put those two grays off to the side and use those in a different project that I have coming up. And who wants to watch me do this for a third time? Third time's a charm, right? So, <laughs> oh, all right, so let me see. Okay, so there is my three, chain two, and then three more double crochets back in the same hole, just as we did on the last two attempts. <laughs> Okay, and chain one. Okay, let me just turn this and see. All right, and I am going to, first off, I'm looking at the color. I think that matches a lot better. It's a slight difference, but I don't think it's that much of a difference. And I'm gonna put a stitch marker just right here on this corner. So I remember to, I'm starting another row, because I don't want to be watching TV and, you know, just keep crocheting around that, because I've done that before, and so I usually try to put a stitch marker now. So now I'm going to cut down this bottom, I believe, and so I'm just going to go into the um, chain one spaces and do my three double crochets and then chain one and go into the next chain one space from the previous row 
and do my three double crochets. I'm going to do this a few, few seconds, like a few different ones, and then I'm going to lay it out and see how it's, um, I'm going to stretch it out and see how it's laying. After working with a different yarn and then moving to this Karen pound of, I don't know, that's Karen, it's kind of like crochet or rope. Okay, I think that's going to work good. Um, I'm happy with that. I think the colors look almost identical. I can see a slight difference, but it's very close. It's way closer than the other one that I started to use. Um, and I don't know if I'll end up doing a round of that darker gray. I really didn't like the way that looked next to this. So I think that is for a different project, and I'm probably going to use that in the project with that purple blanket that I'm going to do. The purple um, mandala. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to continue to go around and around and around doing um, granny stitches, the three double crochets, in each of the chain one spaces. So I... Um, hope that you've enjoyed watching these videos um, or gotten something out of them or at least some entertainment <laughs> if not anything educational at least entertainment okay <laughs> I'm here for your entertainment no so anyway I don't know how many uh, rows I'm gonna do for a border um, I'll just when I have enough I'll know that it's enough just by eyeing it. So anyway, I might show this blanket in a future video just to show that I finished it off or whatever. Um, I'm not in any kind of like super big rush to get this border done. Um, it'll just be something I work on while I'm watching, you know, TV shows or movie shows or whatever at my desk and I need something mindless to work on. Because um, I can't really, like, read patterns and um, watch TV at the same time. So I like something easy while I'm watching something that I want to actually watch. You know, if it's something I'm not really care about watching, I'll, you know, throw in whatever. <laughs> but I appreciate you guys for following along with me and visiting with me. I enjoy your company. And I appreciate you so very much, and I will see you all again really soon. Bye, friends.